I'd like to show you how to manually select features from a data layer. So I have a data layer here displayed. It's cities, and there are a bunch of cities for the whole country in this data set. I'm only interested in working with a subset here in the Arrowhead region near the Iron Range in Minnesota. So if I have that layer, the cities layer, active here, so I click on it's in the active layer, and I click on my Select Features button here, Typically, the default is the rectangular select feature. So if I left click and hold and drag, I form a rectangle. When I let go, the features are selected. You can see they show yellow in the selection color. Now I can change the color here to show them maybe a little larger. I should say change the symbology so it becomes more obvious that those are the selected features. And if I click and left, click and drag and hold outside, they become deselected because I selected nothing. So selection typically selects a set. And then if you select again, it throws out that set and selects another set. Now I can select multiple times by doing my drag and select, and then I can sh hold the shift key down and do a left click and drag with my mouse. And if I have the shift key down, it adds it to the selected set as opposed to just discarding it and selecting a new. So that shift key generally works in selection. So if I have an odd shape, I can do a bunch of little rectangles to get all the features that I want. And again, I'll deselect those. Another way to deselect is by using this deselect button. It de deselects features from all layers, including the active layer. And so I can <clears throat> basically go back to zero or deselect all of them if I don't like the set I have. I can also use the Select Features by Polygon tool. So if I click here on this little carrot, it drops down a list and I'll select Features by Polygon. And then I'll have to draw a polygon by clicking the vertices. And so I can do an odd shaped area this way. It's better than doing a lot of small rectangles if I have a really complicated boundary because I can, if I don't remember to shift when I want to select the other groups or if I make a mistake, I can lose everything I've selected. And this way I can just click the polygon I want and then I right click when I'm done and tell it I've closed the polygon and it selects the set within the polygon. Now it's a little different if I want to deselect those out here. I have to basically create a new dummy polygon to deselect so it's easier to use this tool. Another option is the select by freehand and it's like the polygon tool except when I click and start and then let go of the button every place I draw the cursor it puts in vertices for me so I can drag it around now it's a little easier if I have a complex or fine area I don't have to do a bunch of clicks but it's easy to mess up if you move too quickly so when I'm done drawing my polygon if I do basically just a left click to finish instead of a right click to finish with the other versions, it shows that I've selected a set here. They change color. I can also look at the set I've selected here in the uh, table. I opened the attribute table for the feature that I'm selecting. And when I first open it, it shows all features, but I can change that to just show the selected features. And so it shows the features I've selected here. It just lists them. There are 31 selected tells me at the top out of the 3800 and change and so I can see oh these are the ones I've selected and I'll see that if I select a smaller set here I'll just select a couple um, it only shows those that I've selected we often want to save these in a new data set so I'm selecting them for a reason I'm going to do some other analysis so I'll left click on the feature of interest or right click I should say on the feature of interest to open this drop down menu and go to the export and save selected features not save features because that'll save the whole data set save selected features as and I'll tell it where this is my cell set and I have to give it the coordinate system it uh, basically is using the default there so I'll pick the NAD 8318 UTM um, I'm sorry, Zone 15 UTM. The geometry, tr geometry type it picks automatically, but I could set it to point if I wanted because that's what these are. The rest of the defaults are fine. And when I say OK, then it saves it and it displays it. And so there's just the cities that I saved, those three that were selected. Powerful tool, great for subsetting if you're doing it manually. There are other selections we'll go over in other videos, but this is manual selection.